You doing fine? Yeah. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. For the boys, like, they'll put the hot meals in here. change the numbers according to who I, how many I have on each round. And so we go by these numbers that's all the rounds. So what we do is everybody is working down the line to prepare the meal that we're going to send out to the clients. And of course these are all meals that have been uh, set up by nutritionists so that we make sure that they get what they're required. And uh, so we just pack them out with hot packs in them so that it'll keep the meal warm. And then our volunteers come in to take them out on the route from the loop. There was one lady at our church who was doing it and she dropped off, so then I just called down and asked if they have any routes. Well, Brenda called me and asked me if I would help her, and I went one time and I really enjoyed it. I enjoy getting out meeting these people, and I know a lot of them too. It's amazing because people don't understand what the need is until they actually run around and see what situations are out here. And in some cases it's uh, more severe than others, but when you know that you're lending a helping hand to those folks, it makes you feel good. been here for years. Shirt on a rainy day. Yeah. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Sit on the kitchen table for okay. a minute. Okay. Hey, Daddy, calm down. Yeah, yeah. Don't get wet. No, get wet and everything. How you doing? Man? I've been doing pretty good. How you been doing? Been doing good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a little check system on these folks, too. It's, uh, there's been several times that a volunteer go out to, to, uh, deliver a meal and they find that maybe someone has fallen and, and maybe been down for a day or two. We've had that instance happen where someone may have broken a hip and couldn't get up. Uh, it is a good check system for us. Now one lady who had fallen out of the bed and we had to, we finally found a front door open and I had to call the rescue squad. So if we hadn't been there that day, um, I don't know how long she would have, I'm sure her family would have checked on her later on, but um, she was wedged in behind the bed and couldn't get out. And we enjoy being together. We go to church together. And I don't drive. And she doesn't drive. And her husband just died in March. In March. And my husband died five years ago. I don't know that you could ever put a dollar amount of value to it. Um, it's the it's the human side of what you do. It's reaching out to other people. It's not realizing the need in our community until you actually become involved in this. And anybody that wants to to do something for someone else, this is a perfect opportunity because uh, there's such a great need out here. Whether it's helping volunteer here at the center to help do things, or uh, it's with the Meals on Wheels program, we. Uh, it's just amazing. So it really makes a big, big difference to the folks that are receiving what we do. They wouldn't get it if it weren't for us. So if, if you want something to really make you feel good about your own personal purposes in life, this can do it.